Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to be reading the story. The title is called Lost at the Fun Park. Okay? And this, this is a story about a little boy who was lost when he went to the park with his mom and his dad. Have any of you ever been lost? You know what lost means? Lost means, do you know what it is? Tell me. And lost is when you, when you don't. Mhm. Mm when you don't. Follow your dad and you, you can see him. Right. And you can't, when you're with your mom or your dad and then you don't follow them where they went and then you don't see them and you're all by yourself and you don't know where they are. So that's what lost means. Lost. So this is a story about a little boy. His name is Jonathan. That's the, the name of the character. And it, he was lost at Fun Park. So right now we're going to look at the pictures and think about what's happening in the story. Let's look at the first page. What do you what what's oh, what's the name of the park? Dalvin. Fun, um, Wait. Fun, yeah, fun let me park. Come on. Fun park. Very good. Um and what do you see at Fun Park? What do, what do you see? what are these? Balloons. 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 And I see, I see. Um do you know what this is? Dalvin? This is a clown. a clown. So at this fun park there are Clowns and balloons. And Alfred, can you look at the clown here and tell me what is he on? What what is this clown on? What is he riding? Elephant. Yeah, Elf. he he's riding a bike. Bike. You see that? He's riding his bike. And that's what the story is going to tell us. The story is going to tell us that the uh the clown is on a bike. Because when Jonathan got to the park with his mom and his dad, that's what he saw. Okay. Let's look at the next picture. What are dad and Jonathan doing together at the park? Mm -hmm. Look at it. They are, see Jonathan and dad right here? Uh, Jonathan and dad. And he said to the Jonathan, Jonathan, do you want to go to the boat? Okay, so they they took a ride on a boat. Okay, and you know what? Jonathan believes that these boats are fun. And that's what he tells his dad. He says, the little boats are fun. Okay, all right, let's look at the picture. But you have you, anybody, any of you ever went to a park like this where you have to get on rides but you have to buy tickets? Yeah. Yes. So that's what they had to do. They had to buy tickets to get on the on the on the boats. Okay, let's turn the page. Oh, oh, what's what's what do you see? What's happening on this picture? Ruth, what do you see? I don't know. A who is this? The Mom. Mom and this is the 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 Dad. Oh the Dad. This is the mom and the dad. Yeah. What, how do they look? Look at their faces. Look at their faces. How do they look? Like, 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 like confused. Maybe confused? I like that word confused. What, what else? Nervous. They're nervous. Why do you think they're confused and nervous? Why? What, what's happening, John? Because mm -hmm. Jonathan is lost. Because Jonathan is lost. So you're thinking that Jonathan is going to get lost because we remember we saw that in the title lost at fun park so we know that Jonathan was going to get lost so now mom and dad notice that he is not here he's not with them okay, okay. and right yes all right so Jonathan stayed here with you that's what the mom tells the dad that she thought that the Jonathan was with the dad. So when she said, Jonathan stayed here with you. I want everybody to look at that line. Go down here to this line. And let's read it together. Jonathan stayed here with you. you everyone, look at the word stayed. Point to it, please. Yes. 
There's an ending there that we all have worked on, on other stories, right? What is the ending on the word stay? Yes, I'm ED. And in this word, that ED ending is sounds like a D. Stayed. Okay? Everybody, let me hear you say that. Stayed. Good. Very good. Very good. So when you see that ED at the end of a word, I want you to make sure that you make the sounds. Okay? So we're paying attention to the endings of words because that's something that all of us need to work on in order to read on higher levels. Okay? So please make sure that when you're reading, you focus on that. Okay? What else? Oh, no. What happened now? So now... Jonathan is lost. Mom and dad are worried about him. Okay? And what do you see here, Dalvin? Jonathan runs up and down. Um, what is he doing? He runs. Why is he running? Because he lost. Um, because he is lost. lost. Okay. So now, Elfrin, now that we see that Jonathan is running around because he's lost, what is he? who is he looking for? For mom and dad. He is looking for mom and dad. So that's what the story is going to say. He's going to say, where is my mom? He cried. He cried. Where is my dad? See, he's going to say that. And he's going to be upset. So that's why there's an exclamation point there and a question mark. Because he's upset and he's asking a question because he's looking for his family. Now let's go to the next page. Oh, who is Jonathan talking to? Clown. So Jonathan is talking, talking to, to the clown. clown. What do you think will happen next, Jose? Because he's talking to the clown. He's lost. And he's looking for his mom and dad. So what you what do you think the clown is going to say to to Jonathan? And I can help you. Maybe he's going to say, I can help you. Right? Maybe. We're not sure. Or maybe Jonathan is saying to the clown, help me. I'm yeah. lost. Right? Help me. I'm lost. Okay. Yes? What would you like to say, Alfred? Uh, the, the helper is, is giving the balloon to the, to the Jonathan. Who's giving the balloon to Jonathan? The, what do we call this? Clown. A clown. A clown. And we know what a clown is, right? It's the people that dress up and they color their faces and they dress up in, in colorful clothes and they try to walk around and make people laugh, right? Okay. Yes? Maybe the clown help the, the maybe the, the clown help Jonathan and found the mom and dad. Maybe the clown is going to help Jonathan find mom and dad. So what you're doing is you're predicting what you think will happen next in the story. Okay? So now we're going to look to see what happens. To see if your prediction is correct. Let's see. Oh, what's, what is, what's happening here? Tell me a sentence here, Ruth. Wait, let me ask Ruth. Tell me a sentence about what what's happening here. The clown is, is writing on the balloon. What did he write on the balloon? Is Jonathan is lost. Oh, maybe that's what he's going to write, yes. The name of Jonathan. He is writing Jonathan's name. Okay. Jonathan Little. He's going to write, that's his name, right? His, that's his name, Jonathan Little. You know how we all have two names? That's his, the, the character's name, Jonathan Little. Okay? And maybe he's going to write his name on the balloon and with his address, maybe. I don't know. We sh we sh we'll have to see. Okay? Now let's go look at the next page. What do you see next? What happened, Dalvin? Tell me a sentence. Go ahead. Mom and Dad see the balloon, and um, um, may, maybe Jonathan is, he is there. Okay. So Mom and Dad 
saw the big balloon that was up in the air with Jonathan's name on it. Yeah. Right? What do you think about that? So you know what they did when they saw? When they saw him? They saw the balloon? They shouted. They said, Jonathan. That's what they did. They shouted. Now, can anybody tell me what two letters do you hear at the beginning of the word shouted? S and H. Okay. She says there's an S and an H. No, no. Listen to the question. At the beginning of the word. So we, we said there's an SH at the beginning. Who can tell me what do you hear at the end? Shouted. E now, Jose. An E and a D. Okay? So everybody point to that word, please, on page 14, to the word shouted. Yes. Everybody, let's read that word. Shouted. Shouted means that they, they said it in a loud voice. So no, this is just talking. But this is shouting. So because they got excited because they missed uh, their son, Jonathan Little, right? So yeah. they shouted. All right, let's go to the next page. Oh, so now what happened at the end? Let's look at the ending. Elfrin, tell us what the ending of the story is. Jonathan and mom and dad going with a balloon. Jonathan, the mom and the dad, they they went they where are they going? To 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 the boat. You think they're going back to the boat? Yes. Okay. I thought they were going home, but I, maybe you're right. Maybe they're going back to the boat, and they went back with the balloon that has his name because on it. Because this is going to be a little boy. Oh, because he's got the tickets. Okay, very good. That was good. He, um, Elfrin is looking at the details in the picture, and he says he still has a ticket there, so maybe they are going to take a ride. Okay, that's fine. And do you know what Jonathan says at the end of the story? I am not going to get lost again because I guess he was afraid. How do you feel when you're lost? When you don't see your mother and you don't see your father and they you don't know where they are, you feel sad, you feel scared, nervous, right? That's why in the story it says Jonathan cried. Now something that I want to show you, um, in this story we have the word clown, right? This is the word clown. And in this word, you have this O-W. There's another word that you know that has this O-W in it. Down. What word Down. is this? Down. 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 Okay? So if you know this part of the word, it helps you to read many other words. Okay? Watch this one. Town. 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 Does anybody know what is a, what a town is? Edificio. No. Um, close, but not yet. Edificio is a building. So a town is a uh, is the place where you live. Here, like in Havistraw, is a town. Okay. It's like a place. A town is a place. Okay. A town. Um, two. Hmm. Two. Mm -hmm. What, you see tap two there? Okay. No, that's okay. Um, and then, watch this. That word, there's an F and an R there that says fur, and then you got this part. And you, a frown, I, I'm going to tell you what a frown is. <laughs> that is a frown. Do you know anybody that ever has a frown on them? Yeah. Yes, that's a frown. Just so, that, that's just so you know, you learned a new word today. Frown. Okay, so what I want everyone to do right now is begin reading the book on your own. And as you're reading, what I want you to focus on is reading all the endings in words and reading uh, and re understanding what happened at the beginning of the story what happened in the middle of the story, and what happened at the end of the story, okay?
All right. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to listen to you reading. And I, when I'm listening to you, I would like you to, to see you um, reading the endings of words. And when we're done, we will talk about the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. And some of the endings that we talked about were an E and an ED. Uh, there's an S. When there's an S at the word, what do, at the end of a word, what do we have to say? S. When there's an I N G at the end of a word, what do we have to say? Ing. 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 Like in this word. Sorry. Look, look, looking. looking. Sorry, I gotta fix that. <laughs> okay. This is a K, and then there's an ING. So what? So this word says look, and this part says ing. Ing. Okay. So everyone, please begin reading on your own, and I will go around and listen. That can go on the little bird on the little boat. Please, that's safe, Jonathan. Just say that the little boat are far. I will go on the little boat. Cat, the tide, to the tide. Yes, we do that. The little boats are fun. And I that came back. What is Jonathan saying? Very good. I like the way you went back and you read because you saw there was what was at the end that you noticed? What's at the end of the word? And S, right. So you made the sound for an S at the end of that word, and you went back and you fixed it. That was very good. Wait, try this again. Let's read this again. Said. This word was said. Okay, so let me just show you. I like the way you made the sound for the ending with the ED at the end. I want you to try this word from the beginning. Start with the S sound. Don't no make the E sound. Just make an S sound. So let's do it. Jonathan, Dave. Okay, that's something you can practice. The shaking the beginning sound. Stay. Not going to. Go ahead. Let me hear you read this page. I'm going to stay. Wait, try this again. I'm I go. I am. I am. I am going to stay with you. Say Jonathan. I am. I am. I am not going to get lost again. Very good. I like the way you read that. You really made it sound like you were telling a story. You made it sound slow. And I like that you were reading the ing ending at the end of this word. Going. Very good. Very good. Is everyone done? Almost done. Okay, done. I want you to start reading it again. Because you, you remember that we're going to be thinking about and talking about what happened at the beginning, what happened in the middle, and what happened at the end of the story. Very good. And I like that you were reading all the endings at the end of the words. Both. 
Right? Okay. Everyone done everyone read their book one time? Yeah. Okay. All right. Very nice. Everyone, I like that when I went around and listened to each of you read, everyone was paying attention and really making the sounds of the endings of words. Because that is something we are working on. Okay, that's something that we need to practice and we need to work on. Who can tell me what happened at the beginning of this story? At the beginning. We're talking about the beginning. And remember that when we talk about the beginning of a story, we, add, we make sure we say who are the characters and what is the setting. Ruth, tell me a sentence about the beginning of the story. The um, father and mom and Jonathan into the wind park. Okay, so mom and dad and Jonathan went, went to, to the fun part. Okay, who can tell? Oh, Jose, would you like to tell us what happened next? Mm. You can. I know you can. The, the next part is going to be what happens to the character. So what's the character's name? Jonathan, dad, and mom. Okay. Go to the fun part. Right, and what happened after that? Then, Jonathan said. What happened to Jonathan? He lost. He, okay, so let's say that in a sentence. Jonathan, Jonathan is lost. lost. In where? In, in Fun Park. Park. Okay, so what happened at the end of the story? What what happened after that? What what? He, Jonathan was lost, Jonathan, uh, John, and then what happened? And, and Jonathan said to the mom, I lost in my mom and that too. So Jonathan went to a clown and told him that he was lost. Very good. I like the way you said that. Okay. And then what did the cl- how did the clown help Jonathan, Elfrin? He put the name in the balloon. He wrote? Jonathan's name on the balloon and put it all the way up in the air. And then what happened after that, Delvin? Mom and Dad dad see the balloon and shout it. And Jonathan said, I'm here, shout it. Very good. Mom and Dad see the balloon and Jonathan. Very good. And you know what I liked about what you said? I like that you used the vocabulary that they used in the story. You used the same words that they used in the story. You said, mom and dad shouted. Everybody remember reading that part? Yeah. Okay, so that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to use the vocabulary in the story when we're talking about the story, okay? All right, very good. So then what happened at the end? What was the ending of the story? Ruth? Jonathan said, no... Jonathan said, I'm not Okay, wait, so she wants to say something, but she's saying that you forgot the word in English? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Okay, so tell us in Spanish what happened at the end. Jonathan dijo que no quería volver a perderse. Okay, so who can help her remember the words in English? Dalvin? Um, Jonathan say, um, I'm lost again. I don't want to lose again. He doesn't want to get lost again, right? That's what he said at the ending, right? Do you want to say something more, Alvin? No? Good. Okay, very nice. Everyone did a good job reading, and I'm happy that you are all beginning to use the endings of words, and you're starting to understand the story in parts, beginning, middle, and end. Thank you.